random primitive adds some unpredictability to your projects in a good way. Here's how it works. Random does exactly what it sounds like. It chooses any whole number within the limit you provide as the coder. Here's a key tip though. The whole number will range from zero to one number less than the number you entered as an input. Let me show you an example. I'll put a turtle on the page. I'll drag it to the bottom of the screen. And in the command center, I'll type pen down forward random 150. Now I'll type set color red forward random 150. And the distances are different. Now, if I want to randomly change the color of the background, I type set background random 140. As you can see, random must always be used with another primitive and sends the input to the primitive before it. Random needs to report its result, the number randomly selected, to another command that needs an input, for example, forward or set background. Here's a different example. What if I want to use the command center to show a number within a certain range? For example, limiting the options to the numbers on a dice. If I were to type random six, I'd get numbers from zero to five, and that's not the outcome we want. To get a random number between one and six, I'll type show one plus random six. Now you can see a number between one and six randomly appears in the command center. And don't forget to put the one and the plus sign before random. Now, if I only wanted a random background color that's one of the 10 shades of red, I'll type set background 10 plus random 10. The random command is great to add buttons to your projects for users to randomly choose a player in a game, select a color for their background, or move to unexpected positions on the work area. Now try it out for yourself. And if you wanna see how this command works in a procedure, head over to the associated project. Thanks, see you next time. Oh,